Hello everyone, welcome to our channel. This is a review video for the EV Smart Face for Fitbit Versa and the Versa Lite Edition. The clock face is developed by the Elevated Velocity LLC and I guess that's why the name is EV Smart Face. One of my subscribers, I'll give him a shout out, Harold Vexman commented about this clock face and here is the review for this one starting right now. If you are someone new to our channel, please consider subscribing to our channel as we do regular videos about Fitbit smartwatch, tech reviews, designing tutorials and much more. Also check out our playlist tab to find a playlist exclusively for Fitbit Versa containing 53 plus videos and more to come. Be sure to check it out. Before I start here, this is the disclaimer. I am not the developer and this is not a sponsored video. I am also not endorsed by the developer to do this video, it's just my personal unbiased opinion. I have seen other clock faces which have more functions and I have re reviewed some of them in the past. You can find the links to them over here and in the description of this video. But this is the best as it's a clock face plus a notepad plus a flashlight plus a stopwatch plus the enlarged text clock and the list goes on watch till the end to know in depth about th about this all this comes with a price tag of three dollar via kpay but the developer is generous enough to let you try it out for a whopping five days let's start right on with the clock face once installed uh, you will see this screen so over here you can see stats like heart rate calorie burned, distance traveled, weather with temperature, small icon of what's it like which could be sunny, rainy, night etc, floor climbed, steps per hour, this is nice and my favorite as it keeps me motivated to move. You also have time with AM PM, seconds, day of the week, date and the battery percentage. With a visual icon which is dynamic and not static that means you will see this green bar drain as the battery level drops. That's pretty much it which is a lot of info anyways in, in comparison to some basic clock face. But hang on a second, we are not done here, now comes the hidden feature. So if you click on the center of the screen, it will show you your goals of all the above mentioned statistics. For about 4 seconds, which you can also see by this visual goal rings for calorie steps and distance travel. If you want to know how to change your goals, check this video up over here once you are done watching this one. At the bottom, it also shows a text animation of what's it like outside. If you click on the temperature, it will take you to the next three days weather forecast, which is really ho helpful for me as I live in Manitoba, Canada, where weather can get pretty harsh in winter. You can also access this page alternately by clicking on the top right corner of the screen, where if you pay a close attention, you will see the page next button, which you can't right now because uh, we are on the last page out of five. Uh, you can see it right here. And on the other side, you will see the page previous button, which is used to go back. Now, other hidden feature is if you click on the center right side of the screen, you will open the built-in flashlight app. This will automatically turn the brightness of the screen to its maximum and will also keep your screen on until you hit this cross icon. You can also use a low light by clicking on the low icon. I wish we can change the colors over here. Anyways, if you're looking for the best flashlight app with a lot of functions for absolutely free, check this video up here once you're done watching this video. Now, let's go back. If you click on the center left of the screen, you will be taken to the built-in stopwatch where you can click start to start the timer. A really nice feature is that the screen will remain on until you stop the timer. 
This is pretty handy for feature for me at my work as a physical therapist. Once you click the stop, you will get an option to reset or start from where you stop. Just a heads up, if you accidentally change the page, the timer will reset automatically. An alternate way to access this stopwatch and other built-in feature is by clicking on the top left of the screen and you will be taken to this menu where you can access the notepad, flashlight and the stopwatch. The stopwatch will also show you the current time with AM slash PM and seconds with a larger font which is pretty neat. Last on our list is the notepad, which you can access it from the feature menu or by clicking on the top left of the screen until you are on the last page, which is the notepad. It can store up to four notes with two columns. So on the left side, as you can see, I have added the task. And on the right side column, I have added the time and other details for that particular task. At the bottom, it says add slash modify in the phone setting, which I will talk about in a minute. Phew, that's pretty much it. One last thing over here is you can also swipe between pages but since the swiping from right to left opens the watch menu, so you can't really swipe from right to left, but you can obviously swipe from left to right since there is no dedicated swipe function allotted to the watch by default. Like for example, swiping from top to bottom will open the notification tray. Now let's switch over to the cell phone where it where in the Fitbit app to find this clock face you can go in the clock face tab click all clocks in the search bar type EV and there you go let's go in the setting of this watch face right off the back you can change your weather provider, which in my case is default. You can also change weather refresh frequency by this bar, which in my case is 15 minutes. Date format, date separator, distance unit, and temperature. I have disabled the clock shade, but you can turn it on I personally prefer non-gradient text for better visibility. Enlarge, uh, enable flashlight, enable uh, large clock button, show the second indicator. Now remember I showed you the four notes with two columns. This is where you can add or change it. Now here anything you type in the title will be it will be displayed on the left side column and anything in the content section will be displayed on the right side column let me show it to you on the watch theme color is pretty much the text color i personally prefer it to be a lighter color like white or yellow but the choice is yours and you have a lot of options to choose from. For background, I like to have the weather image as the background, but that's again for the main screen. For the rest of the screen, the selected color will be displayed, which in my case is the dark navy blue, as it works the best with the yellow theme color. You can also change the activity stat color from here like steps, calories, distance, floor, altimeter, activity, minutes, and steps per hour. Here are some tips I have mentioned about the screen, uh, screen paints earlier in this video. 
I have done a separate video in depth uh, for the KPay purchasing process linked up here which you can check it out once you are done watching this video. Steps per hour which is basically recorded from the start of the hour so if you first load this clock face it will be displayed like this. Weather API is basically you can get an API key from a weather provider uh, for more accurate weather details. Let me show you how to add an API key, key really quick. Let's go all the way to the top. Uh, select the weather provider. Here you can see uh, alt default which is available in US only. Open weather map. Let's just select this and hit done. Now you can see it says that to get your API key visit this link uh, and sign up. Once you have the API key after signing it up um, you can enter it over here. So this clock face can fetch the data from that API key with your details and you're all set. Uh, let me set it back to default. Let's scroll it down all the way and lastly it says solve some error so you can pretty much read this if you have any error just in case. So I really hope you found this video helpful. If you did please give this video a thumbs up and maybe give it a thumbs up anyways as an appreciation for our effort to making this video. Thank you so much for watching this video. Please make sure you subscribe so you don't miss any upcoming videos from our channel and take care. I'll see you guys in the next video. Mm -hmm.